It's BBC Radio Lincolnshire Hope and Glory Rob Makers with you till 10 o'clock. Uh, pitch side with him, goalkeeper Jordan Wright. Clean sheet on your return to the team, you'll be happy with that. Yeah, delighted. All the boys, we all worked hard for that. You know, we've been solid for the last, I don't know, two, three months now. We had a great back line and everyone worked hard for each other and we pushed ourselves to the absolute limit to make sure that we get as many clean sheets, as many points on the board as possible. For yourself, it was, it was quite a quiet night in terms of shot stopping. There wasn't really a, a lot for you to do that must have, have impressed you, the fact that your defenders put those bodies, put the bodies on the line. Yeah, definitely. They make my life easy, make Carl's life easy. They, they do the jobs so well. All, all season they've done it. Uh, and I'm just there whenever if anything happens, I'm there to clean up. Now, you did go down in the second half. Now, we've seen a goalkeeper here before do that because there was a tactical situation that needed to be sorted. Was that an actual injury that you went down with? Uh, I've just got a little knot. I'm just trying to be mindful of it. Um, but it was just to give me two minutes to get myself back together and keep going. Um, for yourself this season, how do you sort the season? Because Carl's been in such great form. It must be great to see a fellow goalkeeper in great form. But at the same time, you'll go, well, how, am I, how am I going to get in unless there's some misfortune to him? Yeah, well, like we, we push each other every day and obviously Carl is an unbelievable keeper. But um, for me personally, I've still played, I think, 15 games this season. So it's still quite a lot of games for like a number two in a, in a team. So I always train right. We always push each other, all the goalkeepers. And we just make sure that if that time comes when the manager needs me, that I can go in and show, show him what I can do. And is that the best thing, that because you've had now two games in a short space of time with Fleetwood as well, that you, you feel ready that whenever you come in, it's not like, oh, I've not played in however many weeks, however many months, it just feels like you played the week before. Yeah, like I say, you just have to train right. You have to, you have, to have that mentality every day that you, you can be the best you can be. You, you go into training, you prepare the same as the lads, uh, even Carl who's playing. You, you do the same match prep, you do the same shape, you, see, you do the same everything. And you just have to make, you never know on a, on a Tuesday or a Saturday what, what could happen. Uh, you just always have to be ready for that. And how has Scott, the goalkeeping coach, and Sam and, and Carl helped you? Do you think and develop you throughout the season? Obviously, we all, we all pick up each other. Like we all pick up things off each other. We uh, we work hard. We work on different aspects of the game. We we do like everything that I'm different to Carl. I do different different things. I do different things to Sam. But each and every one of us, we're always learning. We're all, we're all young keepers. We're all trying to learn off each other, and we it, we're ultimately here to get the best out of each other and for the best of the team. And as for your future, I understand your contracts up at the, the end of the season. Where do you see your future? Are you hoping you're going to be able to remain here? I hope so. Let, uh, let's just see what happens and we'll move from there. Uh, you must be hoping that you know you can you know remain here because you feel that you, I guess you've developed as a goalkeeper and, and developed as a, a footballer over this past couple of years you've, you've been here. Yeah, definitely. I came here in January. I took a bit of a step, uh, like a, a step towards my career, should I say, and seeing what, where I could go from. Uh, Unfortunately, Josh got injured last year, but I managed to step in and play 12, 13 games towards the end, and that, that really kick-started my career. And, and then this season's been different, but I've always been ready, and I've still managed to get 14, 15 games under my belt, so it's been good. And I guess as a goalkeeper, it's very different from being an outfielder in the fact that you know you've probably got a few years longer than a lot of the outfielders, so you know that in, in the early stages, if you're not playing 40, 50 games a season, it, it's not a problem because you can have that later on. Yeah, it's always difficult. You, you have to be mindful of how long you do want to be on a, on a bench or a, a team but ultimately you, you're always there to do your job and hopefully uh, moving forward I might be a number one soon.